All right. Looks like we're getting back into it, though. So it's going to be our next winner semis match. Barking Frog taking it over an upset over Seagull Gel versus Dexter. So the first time in a hot minute that um, I'm not going to have to commentate a wolf did on winter semis. The curse is over. I'm free. There's still probably going to be a wolf diddle later today. But this isn't just any wolf because this is Dexter, pretty much one of the best wolves in the region. Um, it's him, ZD, it's Seagull Gel. Desai had a wolf for a hot minute. Um, and I know there's like five others that we're forgetting because they always travel in packs. But Barking Frog is a player that has been kind of a hidden boss out here in Maryland for a while. He's always been pretty solid. He had a uh, top like 64 placing at, I believe, Glitch or Pound. Um, one of the like big regionals that we had here um, in Ultimate. And he's always been strong, but he just doesn't get to go out too much because he's, you know, college student. School comes first, stay in school, y'all. Smash will always be here. Be like Barking Frog. Be good in the game and in school. But up throw up air? Yes, that should do it. And that's the thing about these polished Inkling names. Like Inklings like Barking Frog, Excalibur, the great guys out here in MD. They never drop that. And if they do, then it might not have been possible for them to get in the first place. Up throw up air is one of the best ways for Inkling to kill. And if they miss that, you start to get with that, you know, Martharitis. But hey, it's the inverse for Wolf. Wolf can always kill you at almost any percent. And he doesn't need, uh, you know, frame perfect or percent perfect setups. You can just get that read, get the job done, move on. But here we go. So now Dexter getting opened up a little bit because Dark Frog burned his jump. He's going to in, be in for a lot of damage here. Luckily, he hit that tech and tech rolled in the right way. But that lead that um, Bark Frog had just a second ago, obliterated. All right, for this rapid jab. Arguably one of the best rapid jabs in the game. Um, a lot of people are saying that that's the reason that Inkling is like a top 10, top 15 character. I don't know what people are putting in that. He is a top tier. Numbers don't really matter. It's like there are characters that are good, characters that are pretty good, characters that are okay, and the characters that are bad. And Inkling's definitely good. And Wolf is... I feel like Wolf is one of those characters that's pretty good. Pretty good. He is definitely strong, but he has some weaknesses, but kill power is not one of them. Yet again, back air, landing right in the back of Inkling's head, taking that stock out. The problem with killing around, killing Inkling around these percents, though, is that um, it resets their rage. So uh, up throw up air has a bigger window, and it just becomes something that you have to be more cognizant of. Oh, and Bark Frog tries to go for the Tomahawk right there. Not quite connecting, but I mean, even if even if he gets the stock, I don't know. It could be pretty rough because now. It's still Dexter, and it's still Wolf with a down smash, a back air. And Dexter's starting to fish for it, but back air might kill here. Nope, not quite yet, but he still has the ledge. Still trying to set up for something, but Dexter, his eyes were working sharp there because he was, just knew that he could stand right up, shield it, and avoid the pressure, and there we go. Game one going to the side of Dexter. And I will say, in that matchup and in the way that was played, it was even until it's not. Um, Bark Frog was doing a good job keeping pace. It looked all right, but then at the very end, you know, he's gone to like 80, got four smash, and then kaboom. All right, so game number two. Bark and Frog giving me a slight advantage of his counter pick, but yeah, I was about to say, I don't see him going anywhere other than Pokemon Stadium 2 or like maybe Battlefield because having those platforms to get the grab on can take a solid 15-20% off that uh, kill window and you'll just get some earlier kills and have to interact with Wolf less. The less you interact with this character, the better. All right, up throw double back air, getting that one in there and he's starting to use the splatter shot a bit more. Um, a lot of top engines are using it because it gr works great as a B-reverse. It has a pretty big hitbox in front of it. And although it doesn't do a lot of damage, it gets people to ink on them. Oh no, and you died of that. Every eyebrow on the screen was raised. Dexter was surprised. I was surprised. But, okay, not quite killing just yet. I thought that would kill. Maybe Down Smash might have sent a better angle, but yeah. Barking Frog really needed that kill because every hit that he takes right now is hits that... You know, that's free real estate for Dexter. But luckily, he only took 24.6. Could have been way, 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 way worse. And Bark Frog has been doing a good job hitting these techs and mixing them up so that um, Dexter is not able to get too much off of it each time. 
But Dexter, though, teeing off, getting a forward air, having Barking Frog trapped on the platform, not a place where you want to be, especially around 67%. You're not in super in danger of dying, but getting back down is the hard part. Oh, but the roller, you should be able to match that down, yep. And there's up smash, just like I was saying, but you're not going to be dying to that just yet. But if it happens again, that's bad news. And Dexter started to look for the back air. Oh, but up smash is going to get snuffed out by the frame four jab. And Barking Frog, he's been using the... Um, Incli or the Inclinade just to cover a lot of space on the ledge, but he hasn't been getting a whole lot out of it. I wonder if there's another option that he can be going for. I see a lot of Inklings like, you know, Cosmos stuff go for these down tilts on the ledge. And there we go, the splash shot again. It still has a bit of pushback to it, so it slows down the already slow run speed of Wolf. He has to kind of jump to get through that, and when you jump, you're committing to that arc a bit. So splash shot can lead to a lot of, um, you know, hidden benefits in this matchup, I feel. And Dexter sniffing for something, gets the kick, gets the stock, but Bark Frog did a really good job on that stock, just keeping it very close. And now that the Razor reset, you can give that up there up there and probably like 10-15% have a kill. As long as he doesn't have any rage on him, but Dexter's trying to make sure he has a bit of rage. And yeah, Bark Frog's smart, stopping the jab early so that he doesn't have too much damage to miss the window. But now he has to... okay, he just ran up and did it. Dang, I was about to say, Dexter has to be looking for that. I'm surprised that Barkfire was able to get away with just running up on him like that. And getting these little hits. Great pivot grab. This is going to lead some good damage because the platform's there for the extensions. And even though you air dodge, you're still not quite safe. The England's back air is a huge disjoint covering all those options. And look at this. Barkfire, now he's to really start to turn up on him. Tries to go for something fancy, and it's Tuesday. Yay! It's Tuesday, yet again. And that's going to be Dexter dropping a stock to himself, but not for nothing. Bark Frog was really putting the nails to him that time. Game three. There's still winter semis, so it's going to be best of three at the moment. All right. Now, as much as I love soul commentating for y'all. What's up? Okay. Yeah. I was just about to say, as much as I love soul commenting for you all, I want to be doing it just for one more game. But it looks like it's going to be both these characters locked in. Barking Frog, as far as I know, doesn't have any secondaries. Dexter, he plays a lot of characters, but I feel like in bracket it's been mostly Wolf. I'd like to see him branch out a bit more, to be honest, but his Wolf's been working well for him. And we're about to be going into FD for this counter pick. I don't know how I feel about this one. I feel like both characters have a lot of things they can do here. Wolf's laser just becomes a massive threat because it can cover probably 75% of the stage. And um, if you jump, you can just run back and fire it off and cover a lot of options. But um, Inkling still does pretty well on flat stages as well. Sure, you don't get to like use the jungle gym strat and just like bobbing and weaving over stuff with the platforms. But you can just kind of hit that roller, um, have it be way more threatening. And it's sometimes it's easier just to land uh, grabs because you know where they're going to land. They're going to land somewhere in this uh, horizontal axis in front of you. But right now, Dexter is looking like this counter pick is his hometown because that stock was looking like he was completely comfortable. Shoes off, feet up, has some um, dinner in the oven, and he is just looking cozy at home. The Bark Frog's knocking on the door. Dexter burned his jump right there, so Bark Frog might be able to get a little bit more, but because of the uh, air dodge coming through, he was able to make it back. And only at 85% too. Inkling doesn't have all that much kill power unless you're like above 100 and can get one of those setups. A throw up air, didn't mix up the DI though. Good DI by Dexter on both ends. Okay, the roller, not getting the grounding hitbox though. And Barking Frog is looking like he's a little bit lost in how to get this kill. He's out of the up throw up air range, so he has to get just a hard read or an edge guard. But edge guarding Wolf is quite the endeavor sometimes. If you have a slow fall speed, sure, like you can just kind of float out there and occupy the space. But if you don't, you have to commit. And if you're wrong, you give up a lot. Okay, hitting that up tilt, and now Dexter's looking like he's trying to just walk it home. And it's like I was saying before, that laser coming through, parry, grab, dash attack, and there we go, the tech chase starting to tee off, and that time, I mean, okay, gets the back air, gets the back air, could have been way, way, way worse. 
but now it's uh, Dexter's game to lose at the moment. You know, he can't afford to let up because the comeback potential of the Inkling is still pretty strong. If you get that ink on you at this percent, you can um, probably be at 90 before you know it, and then up throw up air. And looking like you don't even need ink, Barking Frog doesn't quite get that last backer in there, and that's going to be it. Dexter taking it pretty commandingly, 2-1. But that last game, um, Dexter had something to say about that one.